Hey friends and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to fix out the issue no device driver were found during the installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11 in your PC. So let's go ahead and proceed. First of all, the very simple and basic step you need to perform is to switch your USB port. Switching your USB port from USB 3.0 to USB 2.0 sometimes works out for you. Now, if this doesn't work out, the second method you can do is to first of all download Windows 10 or Windows 11 ISO file again. I'll share the link to download this software, download it and open it in your Windows PC. Here it is. Choose the type of Windows you would like to download from here. Select the edition of Windows 10 or Windows 11 would you like to download. Click on the confirm button. Select the language. And again hit the confirm button. Here you get a download link. Click on 64 bit download to download 64 bit windows in your system. Now you can see the download is directly from the Microsoft website. So it will be an ISO download which will be downloaded directly from the Microsoft website. I have already downloaded windows in my system. So I'll go ahead and cancel it. Second step you need to perform is to download a tool with the name Rufus. Open this website, scroll down and click on this portable option to download Rufus in your system. Save it in your PC. Once saved, run the Rufus. Now in Rufus, attach your USB drive which is 16 GB, I have already attached to it. Click on the select option to choose the windows in your system. This one is the windows 11 ISO image that I have already downloaded. I will choose it and select the option open. Now in GPT style, partition style, choose GPT. If you have an UEFI partition, choose MBR. If you have a BIOS partition, at my system I have BIOS so I will choose MBR. Make sure you choose both the options wisely. Now in the image option, if you want to bypass PPM and secure boot, choose the second option which is extended windows 11 installation. This point is applicable only for windows 11 users. Windows 10 users, they do not need to choose any option. And then click on the start button to start creating bootable USB drive again in your system. Now it says it is ready. Now close it. Go ahead and give boot using the newly created USB drive into your system and check if the problem is persist or not. If it is still persist, let's go ahead and proceed with the third method. In next step, again you need to choose someone else PC. Open your web browser and here you need to download your RAID driver which are rapid storage technology driver. For AMD, here is the official website and for Intel, this one is the official website. I'll share both the links in the description of this video. For Intel, scroll down and you need to click on this option which is for 3.7 MB and which is for 64 MB. Make sure the file must be in the .zip format. Save it in your desktop. Download second one also. Save it in your desktop. For AMD, scroll down. Here is the link for Windows 11. Here, here is the link for Windows 10. Expand depending upon the type of system you have. Scroll down again and you will find the option of RAID driver with .zip file. Click on this download button to download. AMD driver in your system. Once downloaded, create a new folder with the name drivers. Now, depending upon the site type of system you have, if you have an Intel, open Intel folder and extract 
the drivers onto this particular folder. Now copy the driver folder and paste it in the your into your USB media of Windows 10 or Windows 11. Now your work is done. Close it and use this USB media to boot into your system. Now here click on the option load driver. Now click on the option browse over here. Now find the pen drive that you have attached. Here is the pen drive that I have attached and here is the driver folder. Expand it, choose the folder and hit the OK button depending upon the type of software you have. Uncheck the option hide drivers that are not compatible. So here is the list of drivers that came right in front of you for all the Intel series. Out of these 10, choose one by one if you do not know the series of your Intel processor. Like for example, I will choose the first option then click on the next button to continue. You can see it is clearly stated and now my driver drive is currently showing over here. Now if this method also doesn't work out, the only option we are left with is to format your hard disk. So at this point of time, simultaneously press Shift and F10 key. This will open CMD for you. Now type here disk part and then hit the enter key. Now type list disk. Now choose the disk you have installed in your system in which you would like to install windows. At my end it is disk 0. So I will type here select disk 0 and then hit the enter key. Once disk 0 is selected, now you need to type here clean. I am again telling you friends, this command will completely wipe out your hard disk. So make sure you make a backup of your data while performing these actions. Now once it is cleaned, type exit and again exit to close the command prompt. Now again go ahead and install your windows using the same process. So these are the four possible ways to fix out your issue of no device driver were found. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon to continue receiving more such updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.